In today's news, Hamza Shimaev laughs at Israel Adesanya's grappling video. Adesanya recently posted a video to his social media displaying how he's working on his wrestling. One more, one more, one more. Shmaev laughed at the last stop and his skills by posting laughing emotes in the comments. BKFC's president on meeting a great guy in Dana White. BKFC's president David Feldman recently had a business meeting with the UFC CEO and it looks like the two organizations will cooperate in the near future. In an interview with MMA Fighting, Feldman said this about the meeting. It was more of just creating an ally, that's really all I have to say. It was a great meeting, he's a great guy, he's doing his thing with the UFC and we're going to do our thing with BKFC, we're going to be the biggest combat sport on the planet. As far as doing business with the UFC in the future, Feltman wasn't opposed to the idea, especially if there was a chance for cross-promotion deals that could allow fighters from the UFC to compete in the BKFC and vice versa. He continued, We want to grow our sport, we want to make our sport the biggest it can be. If that means teaming up with other promotions, we have nothing against doing anything like that because we think that it's just going to make the sport grow and the company grow and the business grow. So anything that's going to make it grow, we're down for it. Rampage Jackson has a hilarious back and forth interaction with Shannon Briggs. After much back and forth, former two-time heavyweight boxing champion Shannon Briggs will finally get a chance to face former UFC light heavyweight champion Quentin Rampage Jackson inside of the boxing ring. The two are set to clash on June 1st in Qatar. Rampage and Briggs wasted no time going back at it with one another after the announcement. This is starting to look like it could become the most entertaining build-up to a fight in boxing history. How the f your ugly ass gonna guarantee some shit that you can't can do? Don't guarantee shit that you can't can do. And you know, I'm only gonna train to for two weeks because I wanna win, but I don't wanna kill you. I'm just keeping it real. How old are you now, brother? I'm 52,000. All right, see, you, you fool of yourself. When I when I come when I show up in the Qatar, I'm gonna have me a walker for you with two tennis balls on the bottom of that mother. Cause your old ass going to sleep. Take that red head out. Look, you you got plenty of heads. Go put on another fucking. You look hey, you like Father Christmas over there. Take that shit out. My muscles bigger than yours. My shit bigger than yours. I see. Hey, you know what? I ain't gonna lie. You do got a big ass. Head. I said, well, you jack off your dick like a twisty roll, that big ass. <laughs> hey, put your, put your fist out. Let me see your fist. See this fist. <laughs> see that fist. There's a lot of power behind this one. <laughs> <laughs> you got a deformed head. Deformed. Yeah, look. I ain't even know you was handicapped, my boy. I would have left you alone. <laughs> Like a whale, that big ass stomach over there. Like a whale, you just over there just hanging out in the pool. Zhang Wiley and Joanna Yandrzejczyk reunite. In a video posted to her Instagram page, Wiley Zhang shared a warm embrace with her rival and two fight foe, Joanna Yandrzejczyk, as the two reunited and shared dinner together. <laughs> So, so guys, remember, I think like we are not kids, but we humans. So uh, today we the champ, tomorrow we are not, but we always gonna be humans. So that this is what's more important and what we can give for free. Is, love and smile to each other that's the most important thing so one day we can beat the hell out of each other and the next day uh, we can have dinner so yeah. i appreciate thank you appreciate that <laughs> <laughs> see you here yeah here okay so then it's <laughs> oh my god okay <laughs> not perfect okay but gonna be delicious it's gonna be delicious for sure <laughs> Michael Bisping gets honest on Aljamain Sterling's title shot at 145. Sterling will make his featherweight debut against 8th ranked Kelvin Cater at UFC 300 on April 13th. Many believe that if he beats Cater, he could become next in line for a title shot. 
Speaking on his BYM podcast, Bisping shared his take on Sterling at 145 and explained why he doesn't believe Aljo stands a chance against the current champ in Alex Volkanovski. And the reality is, Aljo was massive at 135. I don't know how he ever made it. I don't know how he ever made 135. So 145, could he do better? Could he challenge Volkanovski? More than likely, no. You know, I mean, could, could he show up and have a fight? Of course he could. What are you going to say that Volkanovski uh, can't be Aljamain Sterling? Are you going to sit there and pull your face at me like I'm an idiot for suggesting I'm, that? I'm not saying he can't. I'm just saying don't tell me Aljamain Sterling can't can't beat Alexander Volkanovsky with his size and the grappling well, that he's well, shown. Well, well, every man is capable of beating <laughs> another one when the, when the ingredients are just perfect, okay? But we're talking about Alexander Volkanovsky who's one of the greatest of all time and yeah, he lost to Islam Makachev twice. Other than that, I mean, look at the performances with Max Holloway and all the other people that he's beaten, you know what I mean? Listen, I like Aljamain Sterling and I Wish him all the best against Kelvin Cater. And you never know if Bolt beats Taporia, then there's a chance there. But you can't go, ooh, the man that just got knocked out of Sean O'Malley is going to come up and beat the greatest ever, the man that's been dominating everyone at Featherweight for ages. Okay. Really? Fair enough. Fans roast Aljamain Sterling over new physique. The former UFC champ recently posted a video to his Instagram page where he shows off his new featherweight physique. Aljo will make his UFC return at 145, which is just 10 pounds over the weight class he's competed at his entire career, and yet his physique has changed drastically. Fans and trolls alike were quick to flood the comments, roasting Aljo for his new look. One fan wrote, you off the roids? Another said, where the Mabs at? 145 means more M&M. Aljo looking like he's ready to get oiled up. Goodbye to the most aesthetic UFC fighter in history, 135 pound Aljo. Won't be able to bully the featherweights. Big body funk. Bro looking like a compressed John Jones. It's weird not seeing Aljo look like he only has 0.5% body fat. Sean Strickland makes a fan tap while hitting the ski slopes. Strickland does it again. This time he got called out by a fan while out on the powder. After being taken down by the fan, Strickland reversed the position and submit the man in the snow. Here's the clip. Time for today's top memes. Third place was found over on X and was posted by Tai Tuivasa. Second place pick was found over on Facebook and was posted by a user named Robert. And the top picked meme was found over on X and was posted by MMA Fan. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to stay in the talk.